All right. Welcome back here, folks. Uh, it is Sunday night, 10, 18 p.m. California time, March 2nd, 2025. Just got through doing an update here, but also got uh, some newer earthquake activity coming in right now to the uh, Los Angeles area. Uh, this earthquake showing up quite nicely there on a couple of the seismograph stations, Barrett and also China Lake, which sits China Lake over here, Barrett down south here. A 3.9 earthquake coming in. Uh, they have it listed here, east, southeast of North Hollywood. That, uh, I guarantee you, if people are sleeping, more than likely woke them up. That's not uh, too deep of an earthquake. 3.9. Let's go ahead and check this out, see what we have here. It is underneath an automatic status review. Uh, some reports coming in right now around the Los Angeles area. Got uh, some people still awake out there. I uh, bet it was a little jolt. Let's go ahead and check out uh, the origins out here, see what we got for the uh, magnitudes. 3.9. Now, this is a, a 2.76 error rate. There's another one similar, uh, but a higher magnitude. So this could get revised. Uh, a lot of stations here around the area reporting a mid-4. Not for sure exactly. Uh, yeah, mid-4.5 right there. Quite a few four and mid fours coming in, so it'd be interesting to see uh, if they upgrade this or not. Um, looking at the seismograph stations here, hard to tell if it's going to be a downgrade or an upgrade because um, it is in between these two stations here. Normally, if it's a little bit closer, then I can get a, a good estimate if it's a little bit bigger, but it's more than likely. Um, Going to stand at that magnitude there. As far as the location here, it's north, uh, let's see here, north of the Raymond Fault. Looks like maybe around this little fault system here. Let's see if I can even get it to pull up. May not be able to. Uh, what's that, the Verdugo? Is that right? Verdugo. Looks like that's the correct way to pronounce that. Um, but that's more of a north to south fault here. I'm trying to get this one to pull up. Uh, unnamed possible fault in North Hollywood. That's what it looks like it uh, struck on. It's a little interesting earthquake, though, to say the least. Populated area, obviously. Yeah, I was thinking when this came through on my phone, I was thinking this was associated with the uh, the uh, Puente Hills Thrust Fault, but it's not. The Thrust Fault runs underneath Los Angeles. Uh, this one just north here, pretty close to the uh, um, Puente Hills Thrust Fault, but looks like that may be on a separate fault system up there. Again, this is not, I don't think it's been reviewed yet. Still underneath automatic status. I'm sure the majority of the folks there at uh, the uh, Southern California Seismic Network, Caltech, USGS, uh, was in bed. So, but I'm guessing they have somebody on standby. Either way, let me know if you felt this, folks, uh, if you felt this earthquake or not. Some of the reports are coming in here across Los, Los Angeles right now. Here's some of the uh, felt lines out here stretching across the region. Uh, but again, only uh, right now just a number of uh, reports coming into that area. Definitely be interesting here. And that's just after uh, after somewhat quiet conditions out here in Southern California. I did note here in my update video a little swarming down across the Brawley Seismic Zone, also just off the San Andreas Fault here near Cathedral City. That uh, has been, uh, been looking at a little bit of swarming activity out here in the last 24 hours. One earthquake outside of 29 Palms. But the Los Angeles area, the greater Los Angeles area, pretty quiet today until... Uh, this recent quake here that struck at uh, 1013 local time here. So just a short time ago. A little bit of movement up here across the Garlock Fault shear zone as well. So we'll uh, definitely keep an eye here on Southern California as things are uh, quite interesting. I'm kind of curious to see which fault system that indeed struck on. There's Barrett. There's China Lake. Man, it's hard to say. I'm guessing they're going to go probably with that same magnitude. Maybe uh, might be a little upgrade. Let me check out some of these other ones here. There's a 
a little bit higher error rate with a lower magnitude of 3.89. But even in some of these here, they're reporting um, mid four pointers 4.4, 4.55. Quite a few fours in there, so we'll see what this comes out as. Anyway, um, I was just about ready to call it uh, call it a night until this came in. Figured I'd jump in real quick and uh, take a look at this earthquake. Again, it looks like it's just off an unnamed fault system there. Unnamed possible fault. Maybe this confirmed the fault system there in uh, North Hollywood. So just stay safe, folks. Let me know. Again, let me know if you felt it. Uh, kind of curious to see where you felt it at, what it felt like, whether it's a, a jolt or a rolling motion. A lot of times here across these um, the Malibu Coast thrust fault, Punta Hills thrust fault, this may be a thrust fault up here as well. Uh, the earthquake itself sometimes feels a lot larger than the uh, actual magnitude. But uh, let me know. Also, if you got an early alert uh notification from the um, shake app there I don't see it being sent out normally it would show on here that it was uh, sent out so uh, we'll cover this and more in the morning folks have a good night stay safe out there in Southern California got uh, you know, not a way to end the weekend right with a, a jolt of an earthquake out there it doesn't look like it was felt you know, in terms of a strong shake, at least according to the USGS map here, the community internet intensity map, maybe some folks reporting some moderate shaking there around the epicenter, but no doubt it was felt across the area. Let me know, folks. We'll catch you guys out here in the morning. Stay safe.